Hello, it's Annabelle Beckwith here, continuing my thread for Seven Stories, Seven Lessons, that uh, one that's been going about. Um, and today I'm talking about leadership. Now, some people are born leaders, you might say. Some people become leaders. Some people have leadership pushed upon them. Um, and this is one of those situations. Um, now, I was on a train coming back from Glasgow on the Ayrshire Line, a uh, busy commuter train, one hot sunny day. Um, and the, the compartment, the computer train, the compartment was packed. I had managed to get a seat, but people were standing in the uh, in the aisles. And there was a lady standing just here and presumably overcome by the, the temperatures. She just went down like a sack of potatoes. Like bam, you could the thud of her head hitting the floor was really, really quite disturbing. And there was a moment's silence where my first thought was, is she drunk? Like as if as if that's likely at that time in the afternoon or as if that's a reason to not come to her aid. Uh, but everyone was kind of looking about going, well, I don't know, thinking what? Just wondering what was going to happen next. I heard myself say, right, let's put her in the recovery position. Now, my immediate thought then was, what are you doing, you idiot? You know, you've got a girl guide badge in first aid. You don't know what you... However, at that point, I thought, right, OK, well, let's get her in the recovery position. So somebody helped me to do that. Um, and then I found myself, I looked up from moving her over and just saw, you know, a circle of people now with expectant faces waiting, waiting for me to give them some instructions of some sort. Um, so again, just well, what do I know? Giving it my best guess, I, I asked somebody to go and find the, um, the ticket inspector to let him know, alert the driver we need to stop at the next station. Somebody asked to phone an ambulance, have it waiting at the next station and a third person to go up and down the train to see if there was anybody with medical knowledge. Anything better than a girl guide badge would be great. Um, who might come to assist in, in the situation. And to cut a long story short, we got to the next station. The ambulance was waiting. They sorted her out. She was taken off. And uh, as far as I'm aware, all was well. Well, here was a situation where I really didn't want to leave. I just kind of found myself. I, heard, I literally heard myself say, right, let's put her in the recovery position. And leadership in that instance was, was, was pushed upon me. Um, and of course, immediately that imposter syndrome comes into play. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and this happened. I think this happens to this happens to us all at some stage. The things that I learned from that were twofold is sometimes if you are the only person, even if with limited knowledge, if you're if, if that's if it's you, two things. One, hold your nerve because other people are looking at you expecting to lead. The second thing is seek help from somebody who has a better experience of this than you do, i.e. you know, somebody who has at least something better than a girl guide badge. So those were the two things. Sometimes if you find yourself pushed into a leadership role, it may be an unexpected promotion. It might be an entrepreneur who's growing a team and you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, I invented this bit of software. I'm, I'm not a, a leader of, of, of people. Yeah, you are. You have the capability to do that. You do have the capability to do that. But bear in mind that you will look up one day and there's going to be a circle of people looking at you expecting to lead. And you need to step into that space and you need to have the courage of your convictions and to hold your nerve. And the second thing I would strongly advise is look for the knowledge and the skills that you actually require as a leader and your team requires and get somebody to help you to develop your own skills and theirs as you grow your business and move forward.